What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And to round off where we left off, we are beginning to push from west to east. That's right, we're starting to roll up uh, the exposed Austrian front line. And we're going to attack Cologne and we will end up having a follow-up follow -up invasion. And the, we will attack Strasbourg, Stuttgart, take Munich and open up a whole new set of fronts against the, the, Austri uh, the Austrians. And we're not going to take it lightly. So, we are going to attack. We haven't got to worry about being too quick, because lots of these army, lots of these units here are very... They're either cavalry or light infantry. Um, but we will want to soften them up, because they've got some mortars inside, and a couple of units of not terrible infantry, plus pikes. So yeah, let us attack Cologne, and then we will have secured another territory, and be on our, on our pathway to victory. We, especially as my uh, Middle Eastern Blitzkrieg has been uh, not quite as Blitzkriegy as I might have hoped. Chiefly because the uh, Ottomans are just dumping uh, so many men into the fight. So I need to uh, really break through Central Europe. And I could definitely have been more offensive than I already have been. Um, like I've got, I do have armies sat in Central Europe currently not doing much. But that's mainly because I want to. Uh, I wanted to try and make progress in other fronts. So let's push in from. Well, the left is better, for no other reason that, than uh, for no other reason than because my assault forces are going in from the left. At least it means that my breach and assault troops can provide a bit of mutual support. So all these foot guards that are infantry petit via will be hiding in the woods and any units that aren't actually no I've, I've established this is a bad idea because the original the way the men get annihilated by mortar shots so let's put some cavalry out there on the flank to help them once they secure certain gates then we have three units that are going to try and knock the front door down with the cavalry unit support we're going to deploy one howitzer unit on the flank to help clear out or try clear out the front walls. So these two, these units can, or well, one of you, drop quick climb on the centre. Because look at this for a juicy cavalry target. Eh, we lost, eh, we lost, only lost a handful of guys. Okay, so they are definitely uh, they are definitely ad adapting or moving to defend against my uh, push here. Which isn't terrible. They will start to shift back once I make a bit more progress. So let's assume they're going after my cuirassier, because that's the usual affair. They go after your cavalry. So let's break a hole in the wall. One of our quick cavalry units, one of my howitzers from here, can aim at this unit of lancers, because they've very, very kindly stood still in a very quick limey position. There we go. Yes. Keep giving them attack orders. I don't know why. The, the, the guns never used to do this. You never used to have to keep giving them orders to attack the wall. Oh. Look at that! Why do they decide to start lobbing shells in the centre? I mean, it's cool. Because... That kind of capability is pretty handy. But you guys are my siege guns. Let's speed up time. Let's get that. They're doing it again. Let's try and make a way in. So don't, don't be crazy. They made some good quick climb hits. Are they? 
Okay, I'm going to just let, let things happen the way they're going to happen. See, they've done it again. Let's turn fire it will off. I mean... <laughs> what? That's unexpected. Yeah, we, need to keep, we need to keep an eye on their mortars. But yeah, look. So given an order, they've decided they want to... They really want to hit the artillery that's inside the wall. So they'll follow up, fire a volley. They reload. I'm not interested in these guys marching out. Okay, there we go. Although I suppose I might be interested if they're going to give me a good opportunity to shoot them to ribbons. check my gunners are still doing the sensible thing they are for now it's nice them to be marching out in column not quite sure what they hope to achieve one thing I knew I do need to be aware of is the fact that if I start to make them route then they will bring in reinforcements I don't know where they come in so you guys keep firing Oh dear. Nice one, Marines. Nice formation you're using here. To be honest, once you've made the breach, I might just push. They're okay with us doing it, seemingly. Come on. Fire. Fire at whoever you like. I know you don't really have a target. Actually, no, that's silly. Why would I do that? They're going to let me... Well, if nothing else, take these three get them to push up if I'm gonna advance advance on multiple fronts I don't want to get caught out once these guys have finished routing You guys can stop firing at anyone not directly in the breach or towards the breach. Okay, right, keep bombarding the center. They like those cuirassier, so I'll charge them into those light dragoons if they let me. Oh, hello. So they might route from their own artillery. Yeah, that was silly, wasn't it? So let's get some units up on the wall. Keep the cavalry close. Charge you guys in to fight the dragoons. My field art my round shot up. Uh, yeah, my field artillery is having a great time attacking the centre. I am surprised these guys aren't routing, but at the same time, I am happy they aren't. So you guys climb up, take the gate. That's one way in. You guys push up, assuming that we can beat the Dragoons. Obviously they're getting some... They're beginning to hit us with quick climb shots, which may or may not do a lot of damage. Fortunately, they are routing the correct direction for us. Back towards the center. Good. 
things are going to get messy in the centre before they get cleaner. So let's Okay, let's try and build a bit of a a redel. What will definitely help if I can get people in the command HQ. There we go, get you guys up. So let my guard infantry here get on the wall as quickly as possible. They can scramble down how they like. My horse guards here, bring my general up as well to help from the morale perspective. You guys attack the first light horse. So if I could kill a handful of guys in here from firing square shot alone, that would be really helpful. If I attack from this direction, I also avoid this problem of the squares. Though there, the spikes, sorry. Sharpshooters are pushing up for the attack. So charge one infantry unit through the gap. To be honest, charge them all through the gap. My cuirassiers can deal with these hussars. All these men just run them through the gate. Re... Let's re redeploy these men on the wall so that they will actually spread out. I want to get one unit here to try begin to fire on the centre, but it requires me really, really ham-fistedly just keep right-clicking away from the wall. One unit get into the... No, don't get into the command HQ because they'll also shoot backwards into this big melee which I don't really want to mess with. You men, get up here. Ignore the combat in the centre. Not Ignore the combat in the breach. Not interested. Enemies are coming in from over that direction. So it'd be great if we could kill this sharpshooter unit fairly quickly and run around and secure the other breaches. Get you guys down off the wall as well. Get these cuirassiers in to help fight. You guys don't shoot. Actually, yeah, you get you guys into the command HQ. goes in to fight the horse guards. There we go. Form line. Keep our howitzers firing at anything we can in the centre. The guardsmen are coming in to fight, but they've got stuck on some of our hussar units. Those Swiss pikes are scary. they are Swiss pikes especially when your guys are reloading like this okay you're routing so let's try and head that off and charge some of our units forward so you guys charge the mortars so you've got units firing in every which direction in the center this firelock arm citizenry is after my general, which isn't great. Commit my cavalry to the fight, because there's, there's, there's only one last cavalry unit left. Both of you guys are fighting them. 
you're getting cut to bits by the Swiss pikes. Get my elite infantry down off the wall as quickly as possible. Charge you guys forward into the militia. Ooh, this is actually a bit wobbly. How it says cease fire. You guys try hit this fourth horse guards. That's where you guys crash into the side of these Hungarian hussars. Yeah, those cavalry are actually doing okay. You guys have to fight the Swiss Pikes, which is not what I want, really. Uh, General's bodyguard, run in through here. Potentially fight square, form square there. Potentially, I think our first wave is going to be designated as ineffective. So focus, horse artillery, actually try to get you guys, as you're still alive, to go after the mortar crew I can see firing. So they're bringing in their reinforcements, but they're only light. Uh, they're only light. Uh, stuff. Okay, you guys run straight through this gap and try to get into the back of the uh, pikeman fight. Straight through. Really not the sort of fight you want to make with pikemen. Try hit him in the rear. Try upset them. You in square. The infantry here against. Ooh. Okay, let's re establish my bombardment. As the enemy brings up militia. The militia itself. Militia themselves, I'm not bothered about. Okay, the light. Okay, you guys actually. Oh, obviously the mortars can still fire, even... Okay, right, you guys get back up on the wall. Pikemen don't go on walls. Now this unit of infantry that did ret retreated originally, but is now back. Oh god! Run for it, General! What a terrible position for reinforcements to come in. Fight the Hessian Jaeger. God, this attack went really badly. This is what happens, see? You just, you don't, uh... You don't do all your steps one time, and it's the, it's the time. Let's get you guys back up. Back up on the walls, out of the way. Let's get you... Somewhere where you can open fire. You run down the Hessian Jaeger. Yes, Marines, that's a unit I can I can use. Entering from back here. General's going is uh, is is away. He's not having any of it. Q 
cuirassiers go straight into the Swiss mountain jäger. Militia keep uh, marines push up. They're trying to uh, cover their general. But yeah, see? Their pikemen can't follow my superior line inf my um my infantry. So we can continue the attack. There go my lancers. Bash. Get everyone in. Lancer guards over because there are cavalrymen coming out. Oh, the Hessian Jaeger is actually doing okay against my general because I think he actually they managed to get a volley off. Okay, right. Cuirassier, work your way across. Marines, work your way over to the gate. Lancer guards, work your way over. Swarm the Hessian Jaeger. Why you guys? No, you got you guys got ch attacked. You men all quick climb that unit of file or calm citizenry. Okay. Swiss mountain jaegers are coming in. Field artillery, round shot. One of my howitzers can aim at the Swiss pikes. Twenty-four pounders, heavy horse artillery, no, go away. Yeah, Swiss Mountain Jaegers are gonna try it. Guys aren't even going to fire. Let's get in. Get this line infantry in. Still wanting to send in uh, artillery to help me out. You go. Charge the Hungarian Fusiliers because they're weak in the melee. Let's get. No, don't charge the HQ. That's a recipe for disaster. New men charge the Mountain Jaegers. You guys. Actually, stay where you are. You're attracting the attention of the pikes. Get my cavalry round to the front. Actually, these guys attack the provincial cavalry on the right. Still get do some damage. Two more big units of artillery. No, you guys fall back. 27th guards are coming in. Come on, Marines. Okay, they're attacking Form Square. So let's redeploy our artillery targets, or reallocate our artillery targets. You guys, you guys focus on trying to kill this one last Hungarian Fusilier. Let's 
two howitzers at the front, attack firelock armed citizenry. Get all this cavalry in to attack the provincial militia. Ready. Good guy marines. These guys, actually, if I can run you guys over to this little bit, silly pikes, that's not going to do any good. You need to get up on the wall. Chasseur-Pied, ah. Uh, Chasseur-Pied, infantry petit vieux. Petit vieux. Let's get a unit through the gate. You guys should, yes, fire down into the pikemen. Delicious. Seem to be careful with my cavalry. Fortunately, these Hungarian hussars kind of bugged out. You're dealing with the armed citizenry. broken. So their first army got really badly mauled. But yeah, if worse, if had I known their reinforcements were coming from a different direction, would come in from that direction, then I don't think I would have um, been quite so aggressive. But there we are. I had to leave enough of my... Oh, so I only really lost one cavalry unit? So they are now inside. Let's repair the Royal Palace, let's destroy the university. Let's take this army that's in relatively good nick. They're just going to water resolve against the chaps that are waiting outside. Yeah, so minus 21 will become positive 1, well, positive 2 next turn once they got rid of a resistance to foreign occupation ticket. This spy infiltrate Bavaria. You're marching east anyway these two units aren't doing anything anyway you guys i don't know can you demand the surrender of strasbourg oh, fair enough but we'll maintain the siege enough for these guys to get up and ready to hit stuttgart so cologne ours. we can repair these buildings you leopold bellu how goes your recruitment? Nearly done. Six more units and ooh, you've got five spaces. Let's free up an infantry slot and you can join this force under Rodolf. Uh, Rodolf? Oh, now it's under Giraud Grib Gribuval. Gribuval. So similar to my uh, Ottoman campaign, let's create a bit of a... No, not colonial light. Uh, Chasseur Cheval will do. Let's keep a bit of a rolling um, resupply column. Good. So you're waiting to join the forces out of London. You're marching to the south anyway, but Spain is relatively well secured you are reinforcing these guys are going to be one one artillery unit coming down to meet you I'm not sure that's unit of marines joining you you've landed on the north shore of spain to push south towards lisbon that's going pretty well you're waiting your turn on the border another army is being recruited in paris with 
green jackets. Good stuff. So let's upgrade you. Let's build a brig to, so you for your for you to uh, garrison the port. So this is a classic example of what I was talking about. So Sylvester Germain can push up to the border here. Felix Larocque can push out of Hanover and get ready to attack this force here under effort. And also this force here occupying the mine. Although obviously I do want this army to be a bit more replenished before it does that. Uh, fortification on this river to the east is pretty strong. The garrison here at Yagava is... Yeah. Could do could do with a bit more. So you're on your way down rapidly towards the coast with Finland. As are these men. But I think I am going to want to take you. Push and hit effort. Push this army back east. And it's actually got some pretty decent looking units in it. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for my continuing offensive against the Austrian Empire. Cheers, everyone.